Hello and welcome back to another news video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. This time looking at the special site for patch 4.5, the Requiem for Heroes. This special site got updated a second time, so let's look at all of these updates. There's a segment on the Reef of Snakes, which is the new Four Lords trial, and the additional updates section. So first of all, the new Four Lords scenario, the Reef of Snakes, reads, Having quelled the raging Ariatama of the fearsome Bayako and the fiery Suzaku, the time has come for the Warrior of Light to confront the fourth member of this legendary band of heroes, Sayu. Have no doubt that his trial will prove every bit as challenging as his comrades, for not only must you contend with the Auspice himself, but his host of minions as well. There's two images, the first of Tenzin in that sort of black and white picture, and the second of the actual boss itself, I believe, or one of the minions, probably the boss. It looks absolutely amazing there. Sort of part snake, part boy with a sword. By minions, I'm presuming they're talking about lots of little snakes that are going to attack you. Either way, that's very exciting. At Las Vegas Fan Festival, they showed us some concept art of the arena, supposedly suspended up on high with the barriers falling away as you fight against it, which is going to be very exciting indeed. I completely forgot this was part of 4.5, so there you go, a little bit of extra hype for me. The next segment is on additional updates, and this is about the new custom deliveries client. The mysterious Adkarag, illustrious proprietor of the hard place, has found himself on a proverbial precipice, and only by your custom deliveries can he make his way back from the brink. Those who contribute to his cause will not only earn special rewards, but permission to coordinate his attire besides. Will the visage behind the mask finally be revealed? There is only one way to find out. There's two images, the first of which of the titular pig mask on the character, which we'll get to take off eventually. And the second image is your usual fare, your usual screen of turn-ins for this custom delivery client, awarding you e-experience and yellow and red scripts every week based on your collectability turn-ins, which are always welcome, especially when we're saving up for items in this and waiting for the next expansion. In addition to this, there's a new section on mounts and minions. The first section on mounts shows the new dog mount from the new trial, which is blue, and and the second image shows off the Kinko mount, or I'd like to call it Kinko because it's based on the actual fox fate that you fight inside Yangsha where you get the Tamamo headband. I did a video on that a while ago, I'll link that in the description if you're interested. I guess I better start collecting these mounts then. I keep promising myself I'm going to start, but I still haven't finished the birds yet. And the other segment is on the new minions. The first image there is absolutely adorable, showing an odder otter on vacation, seemingly with his bucket. And uh, short of a spade, he has a fishing rod and a beautiful straw hat and shades to go with it with a Hawaiian shirt. That's just adorable, and I really want it. And the second image there is of another minion, this time in the design of another Garlean piece of Magitech machinery. And uh, yeah, that'll be interesting to get my hands on as well. The last two segments are on new hairstyles and emotes, and the hairstyles should be quite familiar if you've done the Return to Ivalice storyline. Alma and Ramza's hair is finally in the game. Presumably this will be a reward from the final chapter of the Alliance Raid, but there's obviously no confirmation on that. I would prefer that than being from somewhere like Eureka, but you know, we never know at this point. And the key point to note here is this is a long hairstyle being added to the game with a ribbon on it, and there's not many long hairstyles added to the game, so I might have to try this one out when it comes out. And the last segment is on the new emotes, which shows these two Lalafell looking pumped up. I'm not really sure what those emotes are other than looking excited. And the second image looks to be sort of like a, I'm pointing at things, I'm sort of describing things to you, sort of like a librarian sort of setting with those books behind it. I'm not really sure what that emote is. It's probably another one from NPCs, but I always welcome new emotes because they make making machinima much easier for me. And obviously people love it for RP as well. In short, 4.5 is starting to get more and more traction the more hype it gets from these little updates. And I'll be sure to keep you updated as soon as I possibly can. Thank you kindly for watching. Stay tuned for the live letter, which should be tomorrow. I'll have a breakdown for that as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.